So today we're heading out to Kentwood, Louisiana to Iverstein Farms and meet up with my buddy Galen who also owns Iverstein's Butcher Shop which you, you may remember from episode one uh, where we went there and got that porterhouse and grilled it up. But uh, he's going to leave the gate open for us. It's pretty early so we can get this pork shoulder smoking. And uh, yeah, he's going to show us around the farm. Should be a good day. Randy, how's it going? Good Welcome to see up. you. Looks like you found everything all right? Oh yeah, thanks for leaving the gate open yeah, for absolutely. me, man. Yeah, absolutely, anytime. Uh, got started early. Excellent. You know these shoulders can take some time. Most good things do. I'm excited about seeing the farm. Yeah, let's go take a look. Let's do it. All right. Oh, this is a family farm, right? Yeah, so we're a first generation family farm. So uh, it's not like my, I have deep roots in farming, but yeah. me and my parents started the farm back in 2009 uh, we came out here to Kentwood Louisiana we're on about 130 acres out here wow awesome dude beautiful so I, we're going to go see the small pigs first right yeah so it's a group of our uh, younger feeder pigs they'll be in the 100 to 150 pound range okay cool hey, what range do you like them before they harvest so we we like a uh, 200 pound carcass so we bring them up to about 300 pounds live weight to get that 200 pound carcass nice. And that's where you're really gonna get good marbling and fat. Okay, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Let's check them out. Yeah, let's go see them. So besides the benefits that you told me earlier about them being free roaming and not being in a barn on a concrete slab, what are some other cool things that they get from being free roaming like this? Yeah, I mean, you can see our pigs out here, they're running around, being athletic, and getting a lot of good blood flow to those muscle groups. Um, so what you're gonna notice with our pork, it's gonna have a much deeper, redder color to it. Uh, if you hold it up next to like commodity pork that's got that paleness, that's going to add a lot of flavor and texture to that pork, um, and, and just it, it's much tastier. Yeah. yeah, yeah, the red hue like I saw exactly. on the one that I that's just right. got from you. Yeah. yeah. And what are you feeding them over here, man? So in that ration, it's going to be uh, roasted soybean meal, cracked corn, and oats. Uh, pigs are omnivores just like you and I, so they need that good variety to their diet to make sure they're getting fat and laying on fat the way we want because of fat is where all the flavor is. Nice and juicy. That's right. Oh yeah. Let's go see them. Yeah. <laughs> They're nipping at my toes. So this is the huge cattle farm. Yeah, this yeah. is it. Yeah. Wow. Massive. They got plenty of room to uh, to roam and graze. That's right. Yeah. On our farm, our cattle are always moving, so we, we use what's called intensive rotational grazing. So we're constantly moving our cows to uh, a fresh pasture and clean pasture. So uh, they've grazed off these forages, now we're moving them to a, a fresh pickings of the highest quality forage we have available every day. Uh, that's going to make sure they're gaining weight constantly, get them away from yesterday's manure so we're not having parasite and fly problems and things like that. So we're not having to use any chemicals on the uh, cows as well. So, and then they're eating just fresh grass. 100% forage fed, uh, all grass fed beef. So, it's on us to make sure we have forages growing year round. So, we not only use perennial native pastures, but we're also planting annuals. So, this was a field that was planted back in the summer of uh, cow peas, sun hemp, things like that. Now it's played out. We're moving on to some winter forages that we planted. It's going to be oats, ryegrass, clovers, and things like that. Nice. Man, thank you so much for the tour. On Absolutely. The farm. Happy to have you all out. Dude, it was fun. Now look, I think it's time I got us some cold ones here. Yeah, absolutely. I'd love one. Hey, look, uh, I know you know your pork and all that. I know my uh, way around a pig, it, that's for sure. Indeed. So, uh, of course, you know, look, I'm shooting for a temp of about 190 for okay. the internal for this pork shoulder, and, and then we're going to grub down. Hey man, thanks for your time. All right. Let's check it Looks out. That's awesome. Mmm, so good. Yes.
BBQ Guys has the outdoor cooking, heating and cooling, and furnishings you want. Visit us online at bbqguys.com.